Did you ever wonder how some companies manage to dominate their markets, while others struggle in fierce competition? It seems like an enigma, doesn't it? In the vast ocean of business, some companies sail smoothly on serene blue waters, while others battle it out in blood-red seas. But what if we told you there's a strategy that can help you navigate away from these stormy red oceans and into the calm and untapped blue ones? A strategy so revolutionary, it could change your perspective on market competition altogether. This isn't about battling competitors, but about creating new spaces where competition is irrelevant. Intrigued? We're talking about the Blue Ocean Strategy, a concept that has transformed the way businesses operate, encouraging innovation, and leading to high growth and profits. So take a deep dive with us as we explore this fascinating strategy. Stay tuned to uncover the secret of the Blue Ocean Strategy. Blue Ocean Strategy, a revolutionary marketing concept, might just be the game changer you've been looking for. Imagine a world where competition is irrelevant, where you're not fighting over the same customers, but rather creating a whole new market space. This is the essence of the Blue Ocean strategy. The term Blue Ocean is a metaphor that represents unexplored, untapped market spaces ripe with potential. It stands in stark contrast to the Red Oceans, the all too familiar battlegrounds of market competition where businesses fight tooth and nail for dominance. This innovative approach to marketing was first introduced by W. Chan Kim and Renee Moborn in their groundbreaking book, Blue Ocean Strategy how to create uncontested market space and make the competition irrelevant. Their work has since become a cornerstone in the world of business strategy, encouraging companies to break away from the status quo and venture into uncharted territories. So, why is the Blue Ocean strategy important? Well, its emphasis on creating new market spaces rather than competing in existing ones promotes innovation. It pushes companies to think outside the box to create unique value for their customers, and to differentiate themselves from the competition. By doing so, businesses can achieve high growth and profits and avoid the bloody waters of the Red Ocean. In a world where businesses constantly vie for the same customers, the Blue Ocean strategy provides a breath of fresh air. It encourages companies to stop fixating on competition and start focusing on innovation and value creation. And in today's ever-evolving market landscape, such a strategy can be a game-changer. So, if you're tired of the constant competition and want to carve out a unique space for your business, the Blue Ocean strategy could be the answer. It's about creating value, about being different, and about stepping away from the cutthroat world of Red Oceans. Now that we've introduced the Blue Ocean strategy, it's time to dive into its key principles. The Blue Ocean strategy revolves around four main principles, Value innovation, blue ocean shift, and the ERRC grid. The magic begins when these principles intertwine, but let's break them down individually first. Value innovation is the cornerstone of the blue ocean strategy. Instead of focusing on beating the competition, value innovation places emphasis on making the competition irrelevant by creating a leap in value for both the company and its customers. Imagine you're a magician, but instead of pulling a rabbit out of a hat, you're pulling out unprecedented value that leaves your competition in the dust. Next up is the blue ocean shift. This principle is all about moving from a red ocean of bloody competition to a serene blue ocean of uncontested market space. It's like stepping into a teleportation device where one moment you're battling it out with competitors and the next, you're in a market space all your own. Then we have the ERRC grid a strategic tool used to create a new value curve. E stands for eliminate. Think about what factors in your industry that you can get rid of. R is for reduce. What factors should be scaled back well below the industry standard? The second R stands for raise. What factors should be elevated well above the industry standard? Finally, C is for create. What factors should be created that the industry has never offered? For example, Cirque du Soleil applied these principles to reinvent the circus industry. They eliminated animal shows, reduced star performers, raised the level of artistic expression, and created a unique mix of circus arts and street entertainment. The result? A blue ocean of high growth and profitability. Nintendo Wii also created a blue ocean by redefining video gaming. 
they eliminated complex game controls, reduced the focus on hardcore gamers, raised the importance of fun and simplicity, and created a family-oriented gaming console. Understanding these principles is just the beginning. Let's explore how to implement them. Scene Script Transforming your business with the Blue Ocean strategy is a step-by-step -step process. The first step in this transformative journey is to understand your current market. This requires a thorough analysis of your industry and competitors. What are the trends? What are the key success factors? What are your competitors doing? This information will form the foundation for your new strategy. Next, identify the pain points in your market. What are customers complaining about? What do they wish they had? This is an opportunity for you to find gaps in the market that you can fill. Remember, the goal is not to fight over the existing market, but to create a new one. Once you've identified potential opportunities, it's time to innovate. This is where the ERRC grid comes into play. What can you eliminate from your current offering? What can you reduce or do less of? On the flip side, what can you raise or do more of? And finally, what can you create that the market has never seen before? These questions will help you develop a unique value proposition that sets you apart from the competition. The fourth step is to validate your idea. Test it with a small group of customers and gather feedback. This will help you refine your offering before you launch it to the wider market. The final step is to execute your strategy. This involves developing a detailed plan that outlines how you're going to deliver your new offering to the market. It's important to remember that execution is just as important as the strategy itself. Even the best ideas can fail if they're not implemented correctly. Throughout this process, remember to keep your focus on the customer. The Blue Ocean strategy is all about creating value for the customer. It's not about beating the competition, it's about making the competition irrelevant. As with any strategy, there are challenges to consider. But remember, every challenge is an opportunity in disguise. So don't be afraid to dive into the Blue Ocean. It's a journey that can lead your business to uncharted waters of success. While the Blue Ocean strategy offers exciting prospects, it also presents unique challenges. We must remember that the creation of a Blue Ocean is not without its risks. First and foremost, there's the inherent unpredictability of the market. Even with the most innovative ideas, the market response can be uncertain. It's a bit like sailing into uncharted waters. You never quite know what you'll find. However, smart risk management and market research can help mitigate this. Secondly, we have to consider resource allocation. The development and execution of a Blue Ocean strategy can require significant resources, both in terms of time and capital. It's essential to understand that the initial investment might be substantial, but remember, the potential return on investment can also be high. So it's all about striking the right balance and making informed decisions. Then comes the challenge of execution. Implementing a Blue Ocean strategy requires a clear vision, strong leadership, and a team that's willing to break away from the norm. It's not enough to just have a great idea. You also need the right people and the right mindset to bring it to life. Now, let's talk about ethical considerations. The pursuit of a blue ocean should never compromise the values and ethics of your business. It's crucial to ensure that your strategies are sustainable and socially responsible. After all, a business's success is not just measured by its profits, but also by its contribution to society. Finally, remember that the Blue Ocean strategy is not a one-size-fits-all solution. It's a tool, a framework that needs to be adapted to your specific circumstances. It's like a compass, guiding you in the direction of innovation and differentiation, but the journey is yours to embark on. So as we navigate the vast and often turbulent seas of market competition, let's remember to take these challenges into account. But more importantly, let's see them not as obstacles, but as opportunities for growth and learning. Let's recap what we've learned today. Today, we've navigated the blue ocean, exploring a revolutionary marketing theory. We dived into the depths of the blue ocean strategy, a marketing theory that encourages companies to create new market spaces, rather than competing in existing, saturated markets. 
we learned about its key principles, value innovation, blue ocean shift, and the ERRC grid, which stands for eliminate, reduce, raise, and create. We also examined real-world case studies of companies that have successfully implemented these strategies, such as Cirque du Soleil and Nintendo Wii. We charted a course through the step-by-step -step process of applying this strategy in business planning and addressed potential challenges along the way. We emphasized the importance of creativity, customer focus, and sustainable business practices in creating your own blue ocean. So, let's think innovatively and apply these principles in our business practices. To keep up with more insights like this, make sure to subscribe. Until next time, keep sailing towards uncharted territories.